Hi everybody, Adam here with eTrailer.com. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the Thule Helium 2 platform style bike rack. So in this video, what we're gonna do is first to see if it's gonna be the right fit for you. We're gonna compare it to some of the other ones on the market that we kinda of put into the same class as this one. And then, of course, we're gonna go over some features and details of this specific rack. And at the very end, I'll give you my opinion. So let's get started. So the main thing with this bike rack in particular is that the majority of it is made of aluminum. So it's extremely lightweight compared to some of the competitors. This one, it's about 43 pounds. I know me just holding this around doesn't really, sh really show you how light it is, but trust me, it's extremely light. So if that's what you're looking for in a bike rack, I would definitely say that this one's for you. Extremely easy to install. Doesn't take that long at all. That pin just gets in there pretty easily. You rotate this knob a little bit and we are done. Another thing that really stands out with this particular bike rack is just the fact that it looks good. I mean, look at it, especially with our BMW here. I definitely think this looks like one of those high class bike racks, and especially since it's being aluminum too. It's just awesome. I would definitely recommend this if you guys are a fan of style, whenever you guys are carrying your bikes to and from the trails. And if that's you, then I do think that this bike rack is for you. So not only is it really, really fast and easy to get this bike rack in your hitch and secured down, it's also just as easy to get your bikes on the rack and cinched down. So we're gonna actually do a test. I think I could do it under 60 seconds. So let's see how it goes. I'm gonna go ahead and start the clock right now. And let's get to it. And time. That right there, folks, is under a minute to get everything on and loaded. So if you're one of those guys where you don't really have a whole lot of time to ride, you have a small window to go, I would definitely recommend this bike rack to you because it's super easy, super simple, so you can go and ride even if you don't have all that much time. So when thinking of your guys' bikes, there is gonna be a couple limitations of what we can put on here. If you guys have a bike that has a tire width more than three inches, this isn't gonna be the bike rack for you. It's not gonna fit. So if you have a fat tire bike, I would definitely look for some other alternatives. Also, this isn't gonna be an e-bike rack. Uh, our weight capacity for each bike is gonna be about 37 and a half pounds. So if you got an e-bike, definitely look at another rack. And on top of that, when it comes to the wheel sizes, we are gonna be able to fit wheel sizes from 26 inches all the way up to 29 inches. So if your bike falls into that and you like everything we've been talking about so far in the video, then I definitely think that this is gonna be a good choice for you guys. Hopefully the bikes that we chose for this video is gonna give you guys a good idea of which ones are gonna be great for it. Honestly, we do have our road bike here and our mountain bike, and it's just gonna be ideal for those. They felt really, really well on this bike rack, and just the fact that we don't have any contact whatsoever with our frame. So whether you have a carbon fiber bike like this, or you have a bike that has a very cool paint job and you don't want it to rub or anything like that, this is definitely gonna be the bike rack for you. Another thing to think about, this bike rack is going to really differentiate it from some of the others just because we don't have to deal with any of those hooks or anything like that on our top tube of our bike frames. As you can see here, two of my bikes are extremely different in shape and it's just honestly nice for me just to know all of my bikes have tires. So they're all pretty much gonna fit the same. Also with loading and unloading too, you don't have to mess with that center mast, which is a big thing with me. This is super simple. And again, I don't gotta touch this frame. 
As you can see here, we don't have the BMW anymore. We just wanted to show off the tilting feature and obviously our BMW didn't have a back hatch. But we do have one now. So I just wanna show you guys how it's going to tilt away from the vehicle with our bikes installed so we can gain access to that hatch. What I like about this tilt away lever compared to others is that it's extremely easy to find it's at the very far end so I don't have to go ahead and reach all the way back. It's right here, ready to go. Kinda of just pull that down. And this is gonna give us a lot of access, especially without removing the bikes. It's a big thing with me if we're ever traveling I don't really like pulling into a random gas station in a random city, taking off my bikes just to gain whatever hatch access I need to get whatever I need out. It's just something I don't necessarily love. I don't know if that's a big thing with you guys, but it is with me. So I do wanna just let you guys know we have plenty of room. Even if we had a little bit wider handlebars here, I think we'll be good. Yes, we are gonna have rear hatch access, which is a plus, but the amount of space that we have especially on this vehicle here, I have plenty of room to just kind of sit down, grab my gear, maybe put on my riding shoes, put on my helmet, get changed or something like that. There's plenty of room, so not only can we get stuff out, we can still pretty much use this back space. To lift it back up, you just gotta kind of grab this center part here and just lift it up. It'll snap into place. That hitch switch lever locks into place really nicely. It's a really good sound, so you definitely are gonna know that it's locked down. But I'm gonna go ahead and take these bikes off. It's gonna be just as quick, if not quicker, than putting them on. Just kind of squeeze a little handle in there to kind of get it undone. Obviously, when you undo the last one, put a hand on your bike, just so it doesn't fall into anything. Pretty simple stuff. And the same with the second one. And when we're done with that, get our bikes off to the side. And you can just go ahead and don't really gotta press anything. Just fold them in. They lock into place, which is awesome. And then we can use that hitch switch lever again to fold it up towards our vehicle here. And as you can see, almost all the way to the end there, Extremely easy to use and definitely an improvement to some of the others that I've used in the past. Security is a big thing with me with bike racks. Luckily, this one is going to have it. We don't have to purchase any additional locking cores. It comes pre-built in there. And another nice thing about it is we don't have extra parts, so everything's kind of attached. We don't have an anti-rattle bolt and we don't have a locking cylinder on the other side. It's just kind of built in here, which makes it easier to cinch down quicker. And we are going to have a key that comes with our kit that is going to match the key on our bike cables as well. These are where the bike cables are located. They kind of just hide in these little wheel trays here. It's kind of nice. So you kind of just pull them out and then you pick whatever place you really want to tie them down at. Uh, I usually try to go through my frame just because that's just me, but just to show you guys how it kind of goes in, you're going to wrap it around something, either your wheel or your frame. This is going to fit in there just like that, and then you can go ahead and lock it up. So it's definitely going to be a good theft deterrent. And like I said before, that's something I look for in a bike rack just because, I mean, if the bike rack is going to lock into my hitch, might as well protect my bikes as well. We are gonna have about 10 inches of spacing in between our two bikes here. So if you have them set up like we do here with handlebars on one bike facing one way and handlebars on one bike facing the other, I do think we're gonna have enough room to kind of maybe eliminate a problem of our bike ped pedals hitting or even our handlebars. But if it fits better facing them both one way, go for it. But another thing about this setup for this bike rack is we can kind of move them right or left, meaning I can move our closest bike to our vehicle a little bit closer to the driver's side and the farthest bike back a little bit closer to the passenger side if we did have any issues there. It's super, super easy. All we really need to do is just loosen these up and kind of shift the bike where we need it and then go ahead and cinch it down again like that. We can do the same exact thing for the other bike as well. I'm going to put it a little bit closer to the driver's side. We can do that. 
just kind of like that. And then cinch down the other side. See, now we have a lot more distance. We are adding a little bit more width to what we had previously, but it is going to eliminate the problem of us having some clearance issues with both of our bikes. We went over a lot of the features of the bike rack and also comparing them to some others that we sell here at eTrailer. So that kind of gives you guys an idea of what you guys really want and kind of gives you an idea of what it really looks like on a couple of different cars. But now we're going to go into the measurements and see if it's literally going to fit on your vehicle. So let's just go ahead and get started. This next measurement is going to be based solely on your hitch just to see if we're going to have any issues with our bike rack here. So the hole in the farthest back, if you have two different holes in your hitch, we're going to be using this one. And we just want to make sure that the measurement between this hole here and the very end of our hitch receiver, we need to make sure that's under three inches. And the reason why is we have a stinger over here, which kind of helps with easy loading, but the housing for that stinger will eventually hit our hitch receiver if we go over that three inch mark from the center of this hole to the edge of our collar here on our hitch receiver. And that's gonna go for both our two inch hitch receivers as you see here, but also the inch and a quarter hitch receivers because we do have a little sleeve on the inside and it is gonna make it compatible with both. Measure from the center of your hitchman hole all the way out to the outermost point here. It's gonna be about 30.7 inches. But from that point, we actually are gonna be about 5.4 inches above where our hitch receiver is located. So that'll give you guys a good idea of what kind of ground clearance we're gonna be working with. And then when we put it up into the upright position here, from the center of our hitchman hole to the outermost point, it's gonna be 13.5 inches. So now you guys are gonna get my opinion about this bike rack. And we're gonna just start by saying it checks a lot of the boxes, if not all of them for me. We have locks on them, so my bike rack can stay in my hitch. I don't plan on moving it that often, so that's definitely a plus. I don't have to worry about it whenever I drive places. It's something that I kind of think of in the back of my head, but I don't really have to with the locking capabilities of it, which is good. If I have my bikes on there, I have cables for each of them, so I can lock those to my rack as well. So again, more peace of mind. On top of that, it does have the tilting feature, so I can do this even with my bikes installed, which is a plus. And also the aluminum. I just like the word aluminum because I know it's gonna resist against rust and corrosion naturally, but the aluminum does bring a lot of things to the table. One, it's extremely light. So if you do plan on taking this in and out of your hitch, unlike myself, it's gonna be pretty easy to do so. It's really good looking. I mean, look at it, it's, it's beautiful. Compared to some of just the straight black racks, I do think this is gonna add a really cool touch to your guys' vehicle, just because it looks awesome. And also with the aluminum, most of it is made of aluminum. So it's extremely, extremely solid. So that is definitely something I look for. And it's definitely gonna be an eye grabber whenever you're driving down the road, whether it is just like this or down with your bikes loaded. Uh, another thing is just a quick and easy access that we can get to putting all of our bikes on, super quick and easy. It takes care of our bikes. Even if I don't have a carbon fiber bike, you just don't necessarily love to see your bike frame have those wear and tears over time. So I think it being quick is awesome too, just because I am extremely busy, but I'm sure you guys are too. So making all of that really quick and easy, just to throw your bikes on there, get to the trail so you can have some fun and relax a little bit. So all in all, I would definitely recommend it. There's zero things about this bike rack that I do not like, and that is my honest opinion. And I really would suggest this if you guys have two people you want to go riding with, or even if it's just yourself, there's a one bike rack version for that as well. So other than that, that's pretty much all there really is to know about the Thule Helium 2 platform style bike rack. And I'm Adam with eTrailer.com.